Are you planning on relocating to the Niagara region and would like to learn a little bit more about the Niagara region transit system? Well, this video is going to talk about the different types of services that are available to you by the Niagara region transit system, as well as the cost of fares slash passes and how to use the all important transit app to get around the Niagara region. My name is Manny from Living in Niagara Region and this channel is all about showcasing the best that the Niagara Region has to offer. The Niagara Region Transit System was officially formed on January 1st of 2023. It's an amalgamation of different transit systems and it serves about 12 municipalities. The three biggest ones will be number one, the city of St. Catharines, number two, the city of Niagara Falls, and number three would be the city of Welland. Now, depending on where you're planning to move to will dictate the level of service and the frequency of bus service that you'll receive. For example, in St. Catharines, you may have buses that come you know, every 15, 20 minutes during rush hour, whereas here in Welland, it comes once every 30 minutes. But don't worry, the transit app, which I'm going to show you in just a moment, will give you step-by-step -step instructions on how to get to your destination. So there are three different services the Niagara Region Transit has to offer. One being the local bus routes, Two is going to be the regional bus routes, and these are the bus routes that will bring you from one city to another. So for example, from Niagara Falls to St. Catharines, or from St. Catharines to Port Coburn. And then the final one would be something called On Demand. Now, On Demand seems to me like a government version of Uber. They use SUVs and minivans to shuttle you know, small groups of people to different locations and it's only available in select areas throughout the Niagara region. But I gotta let you know, I've tried it one time and I really didn't have a great experience. So if there's anyone watching this that lives in the Niagara region that did have a good experience, please share it with us in the comment section below. Before the amalgamation, I was told that different cities offered different fare prices, but thanks to you know, the Niagara region transit and streamlining fare prices, everyone pays the same price. So for example, if you're going to use the local bus service, which is the service that operates within the city, then you're looking at about $3 for a one-way fare for everybody, except for anyone that's 12 years and under will travel for free. Now, what I got to commute to work was the 31-day pass, and that by far is the most economical. It costs $85.50, and you can get unlimited use of the system throughout the 31 days. The regional fares have the same categories, but they're pretty much double the price. So for example, if you want to have a one-way fare to go from, say, Welland to St. Catharines using a regional bus, it's gonna cost you $6. What's great about the Niagara Region Transit System is that you can actually buy these things on the bus. You just ask the driver for a day pass, but you have to have the exact change. They don't take Interact or anything like that. So you definitely have to have the exact amount. Otherwise, you can use your transit app to pay for your fares and passes, and then it will issue you a, a QR code for you to scan to get onto the bus. When I first tried using the regional bus to get to St. Catharines and then hop onto a local bus route to get to my destination, I was kind of worried that I had to pay $6 and then an additional $3. I'm happy to say, as long as you transfer within the appropriate time, you will only have to pay $6 for one way to get to your destination in another city and use the local route while you're there. Oops. The Transit app, which I'm gonna show you in just a second, is an absolute if you are going to get around by transit in the Niagara region. It is extremely, extremely helpful because it will let you know what type of bus routes that you'll need to use in order to get to your destination. You can actually just punch in a, a place of interest or uh, an exact address and it will tell you which routes that you'll need and the times in between to transfer buses and that kind of stuff in order to get to your destination. You can pay for your fare, like I mentioned before on the app, but it's far from perfect and you definitely want to confirm with the bus driver that the bus actually takes you to your location if it's the first time traveling along that route. And by the way, it's customary in the Niagara region to thank your bus driver, so please continue on with that tradition. <laughs> 
So hopefully I was able to answer your Naga Region Transit questions, and if not, please leave them in the comment section below and I'll do my best to answer them for you. If you liked this video and found it helpful, please give it a thumbs up and also share it with a friend that might be moving to the Niagara Region. Thank you very much. I'm Manny from Living in Niagara Region and thank you for watching and I'll hopefully we'll see you in the you know, comment section below. Take care. Thank you.